You and I both love burritos, right? <laughs> I have a tattoo of it right Okay. Here. Well, I found a place that only serves burritos, breakfast burritos in specific, and yesterday they sold out at 12 p.m., lunchtime. They are Instagram famous. I mean, they're not really Instagram famous. They have like almost 9,000 followers. But every foodie in LA has posted about this page, so they must be doing something right. I'm on their Instagram now, and these burritos look insane. Look, it has 600 likes on a picture of a burrito. That what is, is all that? insane. I don't know. It could be chili mayo. It could be some kind of queso. I don't know. But then I jumped over to their Yelp and I noticed that they have five stars. Ooh. So, with no further ado, welcome back to a brand new episode of My Fortunate Life Choices, starring yours truly, Brennan Taylor and Jake Taylor. And we are gonna go to this place, okay? Cause like, I have to go to this place. So yesterday I did try to go here on my own without filming a video what and it was did? sold out by 12 p.m. You were gonna invite I me. I got hungry, I got hungry, all right? Anyways, let's jump onto this Yelp and let's read the reviews and let's see what they're really working with. So the first review says, best damn breakfast burrito. Steak and bacon breakfast burrito was so good, I didn't even have time to take a picture. Nothing but satisfaction with every bite. Can't wait to try the rest of their menu. Wow. And that's about a breakfast burrito. Imagine just calling someone a god because they created a burrito. Yeah. That must mean that this place is absolutely to die for. What is a little confusing is this picture right here on the Yelp. Like it's literally in a parking lot. It's not, it's not in a restaurant, yeah. it's a food stand. Definitely and it's a, a bunch chair. of dudes it looks like and they just cooked the food. This says, uh, pro tip, it is located between the Argo gas station and the car collision place. Like literally in between, you will miss it if you don't pay attention to this. This is one of the best breakfast burritos I have ever tried. The portions are massive. You can easily share one burrito. The burritos are eight to $12. I got with everything and Bomba sauce. I chatted with the guys and they were very nice. And I always appreciate people hustling and serving up good food. I will definitely be back. So it is a little, a little like weird that they're in like a parking lot, but you know what? I'm not yeah. gonna knock their hustle. You know, maybe that's Definitely. all they can afford. Maybe they're, you know, they're grinding yeah, yeah, yeah. from in there. Well, so. I heard LA like passed like a law about doing food stands now. Like so, you can't do it. So maybe there's gonna be more out there. Popping maybe. Up. No. Who knows? This is probably one of the tastiest breakfast burrito joints I have ever been to. I don't know what sauce they use, but it really gives the burrito flavor. Would Def come back? Thanks, guys. I mean, these reviews right here are making me, like, my mouth is watering. I wanna, like, I, I'm trying to figure out the flavor I want to lick the sauce, and I don't even know what the sauce yeah. is yet. How do you make a sauce up out of I nothing? I don't know. Yo, these guys must be, like, creative geniuses. Without any further ado, I don't think we should sit here and read reviews oh, all no. day. we need to eat this. I think we need to go to this place yeah. right now. So, we're going to go do that, and we will uh, let you guys know. Does this place deserve five stars? We'll I don't know. find out. Let's go. So first things first, first look at this thing. It looks aesthetic as hell. I've never seen something so aesthetic, like from the from the, the, the spice on the top to the red tortilla to the sauce. Like I don't even know what the sauce is. I'm guessing it's a spicy mayo type sauce, which is filled with fat. But hey, this is what this burrito is. This burrito is called Burrito Bomba for a reason. It's a bomb burrito. And the thing that really surprised me the most was that they actually give you gloves to eat this thing because that's how messy it is. And hey, my steering wheel on my new M4 is, you know, Alcantara leather, so I'm actually gonna put these on to try this because I'm not trying to dirty that, but look at that. Have you ever been to a restaurant where they give you gloves? That is absolutely insane to me. So look at this thing. We're gonna unwrap it so we can really check this out. So they actually toast it on the outside too so that I can close up perfectly and you don't have to worry about a burrito falling apart because we all know that's everyone's worst fear. And crispy burritos are the ball. Oh my God. So what we got inside here, it looks like carne asada. We have eggs, we have bacon, and we have this spicy mayo sauce. So That's a pico de gallo. That's a pico de gallo. You ready for this? First taste test. Oh my God, man. Wow, it's so juicy. Well, usually when you eat a burrito, you don't really feel like 
it's a Mexican food. You know what I mean? You just kind of be like, oh, it's just a burrito. It's a tortilla. You never really think like, damn, this is like a Hispanic food. You know what I mean? You never think like that. This is Mexican food. You know what I mean? But this one, when you bite into this, you just think into yourself, oh, 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 yeah, because God dang, this thing is like one of the juiciest burritos I've ever eaten. And no wonder why he gave me the gloves. When I took a bite of this, I felt a splash. It was like eating, it was like eating, what are those little things called? Fruit gusher. It was like a fruit gusher, but I was biting into a burrito. Oh my God. Usually, I like to add lemon to my burritos. For whatever reason, I think that they're using a chili lime powder on the top that's really giving it the like little bit of a not sour but it's like it's got like a slight it, the powder that I'm talking about is like those fruit stands that are on the side of the road where you get some fruit and they put some chili lime powder it's not like an actual lemon itself but it's so amazing could you eat both those by yourself oh my god it's literally like every bite is new flavor to me this is like high quality meat no wonder why this place sold out yesterday we came here Sold out by 12 p.m. That's like lunchtime. If you're selling out by lunchtime, you're doing something right. And look it, he wasn't lying when he said he needed these gloves because it does get a little messy. My whole hand is greasy and oily. And you know what? I think if they pass out gloves, you actually save money on napkins because you don't need napkins now, you know? Do you want to try the shake? Yeah, let me set this up real quick. Sitting on the ground. We're sitting on the ground because we decided to move because we were sitting next to some random people and they were talking really loud and we really wanted to get this shot. So, I, I guess I'll hold this for you so that you don't like get your hands dirty. You want me to eat yours? You want to eat those? Oh yeah, I'm going to eat that other one too. Ah, shit. Or do you really want that? I, I thought I did. I mean, <laughs> like, right, I thought you. we were sharing it. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's so good that I want the other half for myself. Okay, I'll, just, I'll finish this half. Right, you can finish that half. Give me your initial taste test. Right, tell me that's not like a burrito you've ever had before. Whoa. Can I cuss on this channel? Oh, yeah, I'll believe it. Holy this thing is so good. Oh my god. Okay, first off, when you bite into it, it is so juicy. It, it literally, I literally gushes. You're gonna have to bleep every single second I say it, this thing. It is so good. I don't understand where the flavor is coming from. That's what I'm every saying. Every single little item is so juicy. The only thing that's not juicy, but is completely crispy, is the bacon. They literally chop the bacon so fine. You should see how much bacon they have over there, how much meat, how much eggs. I just did a shot of them cooking fresh eggs, and it was a pile like this big, and the guys just chop, 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 chop. So awesome. Everything complements each other so well, and it all fits together so well. I want to even know what these tortillas are. I know. Why are they red? Seen a red tortilla. I don't know. But my question is, is that they give you gloves for a reason, and you're using the hand without the glove to eat the burrito. Hmm. Where does that make sense? I don't know how that happened. So they actually just threw us some tacos as well. So I'm gonna give a shot of these, and you're gonna see these things. These are like the best looking tacos I have ever seen in my life. The tacos look to be the same as the burrito. Looks like they're carne asada tacos. Um, Jake and I are both gonna grab one and go for it. Oh my God, these things are thick. I haven't actually seen a, wow. So this is like a flour tortilla, um, but it's almost in the size of a corn tortilla. So it's like a smaller oh, wow. taco shell, but it's a, how heavy it's a is. heavy, heavy ass taco. And look how thick the tortilla is. Like the, it's a they're very thick tortillas and, and it looks like Inside it was crusted with cheese, so. Yeah. Here we go. Go. Mmm. Don't drool on my burrito. Mm. It's like a quesadilla taco. Look, if you look inside, this is all cheese. All cheese in there. Wow. 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 And every bite is just so juicy. It's just like the burrito. It's absolutely insane. Like, what are they using to hook this? This meal is definitely what I would call like a comfort meal. Like, um. Imagine like imagine being drunk after a club and getting this exactly or like going to Mexico and meeting your great-grandparents for the first time And this is the meal that they bring to the table like that's what this is. Like this is very me. homey very like um, From our roots from yeah. our Hispanic roots like it's so good. It tastes like these people like this is what they love to do They they're love passionate. to make this yeah, they're, they're, they're passionate about this and you can tell with their food We also met remember when we were in New York and we did that five-star Indian food at the Indian truck? Yeah. That guy was super passionate about it and you can tell with the way the food came out and the way the food tastes. You know like sometimes you eat some food and it ruins you like pretty instantly. Oh yeah. You feel like shit, like every time you eat Taco Bell, yeah. you feel garbage it after. It tastes delicious in the moment but then you feel Seeing awful. this on Instagram, I thought I was in for like a treat. Like oh, I feel yeah. great. Like, I Logan Paul's competition, maybe we should eat this before we go. Like, I feel, I feel great. This is so good. Listen, 
What Jake's trying to say is that we just didn't overstuff ourselves today. Usually we would eat a full burrito and then have tacos. Well, no, no, I'm saying, you had half a burrito. I'm saying the quality of what oh, yeah. we're eating is not like something that's gonna like no. give me explosive diarrhea later. Like I feel great. Like I said, the, the quality is all there. The food is amazing. And this is something that you guys have to try on your own. Um, all the reviews are completely true about this place. Super cool, super friendly vibe. And I honestly can say that I will return. Like this is a place that I would drive over here for. Yeah. What was your name? George. George? Eric. Eric, can you guys the owners, owners of this? Yeah, yeah. We're both the owners. Sick, sick. What's the reason why you guys are just in a lot and not a full on restaurant? We're college students, bro, so we don't no we can't afford like a restaurant right now. So we decided to start small. Sick. Start with like a food stand, have people see we just kinda wanted to test the waters. Yeah. But then it kinda worked out. Yeah, so let so, me ask you, because I saw yesterday we tried to come here and you guys sold out by twelve yeah. PM. Does that happen often? We yeah. try to have it not happen. We try to get more and more and more inventory, but yeah. it's like sometimes it's like our customers are crazy. The, the Bomba fam's crazy. They sometimes yeah. pull up in giant bunches, and you know we try to do our best to That's pump it insane. out. But how many like yeah. like say let's just say burritos? How many burritos do you make in a day? Probably like oh. around like 200 to 300 sometimes. We get a lot of people That's coming crazy. in, man. Easy. Yeah, so like, how much like pounds of meat do you guys have? Like, usually we, get? we typically have like anywhere from 60 to 100 pounds of meat. Wow. And yeah. then you you like usually sell it, get rid of it all. Yeah. Usually, yeah. Day. Our customers have weighed our burrito before. It, this guy told us it was like 2.4 pounds for steak and bacon. <laughs> damn, yeah. no, we were literally holding this thing like, damn, this is a workout Bro. on its own, just holding yeah. the burrito. I'm telling you, like, you eat this in the morning, you're literally full until like 8 p.m. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. We should have <laughs> used this. We should have came here for that last video. I know, right? <laughs> Jesus. So, so you guys, just like, when did you guys start this? About like four months ago. Four, four months ago. yeah, four, four and, and a half. And what was your like way of like getting word out about it? We we it was, basically just like started telling all our friends, you know, like. Yo, we're opening a breakfast burrito spot and this happened by like complete like accident. We were yeah. like trying out like all these breakfast burrito spots. Yeah. And we're like, we can make something better than this. Yeah. And we literally for like yeah. two, three months, uh, probably like six to 10 burritos every day. We made around like 300 burritos Almost to all okay. our friends and family, like yeah. samples. Yeah. Until we got to like the, the perfect, final sample. Yeah. Yeah. We used and to we have like sampling parties. No like, we would have like 20 of our friends come by. We would just like, it was literally those small like plug in, plug in like play like griddles. Yeah. yeah. We used to cook it on that in like his backyard or my oh, backyard. And we just had people come by, try it out, give us their feedback. After like a month or two, like maybe even three months, like doing it over and over, literally almost every day. We, yeah, we kind of got a full like 100% response that it's good. Yeah. So we're like, okay, I think we're ready to kind of open up. Did you guys go to college for like food or is it? No, no, like we, we just like to cook. Okay. To be honest, um, we're licensed to cook, but we're, I, can, I can't like say that we're necessarily like Even IHS. before yeah. opening though, we, <laughs> me and him, we took uh, classes at yeah. like LACC for culinary classes. Got it. On how to like, you know, yeah. like, from basics to like more gourmet stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, so basically, you guys really do care about making the food. It's not like a always. lot of these other places that just make food and like get it yeah. out there. It's you just know? a business for a lot of right. people, but for us, it's building like a like a family around because like everyone comes by. Like we're not shy to give you, give people like you know uh, free drinks. It's cold. It's a it's a hot day. Yeah. You know, like come by, like stop by, hang out with us. That's we're dope. more than welcome. We talk with everyone that comes yeah. by. So it's more of like a family than just like a business, you Definitely. know? Definitely. You know, whatever we have left over, we start, you know, making a couple extra burritos and we give it to the homeless Oh, people that's so too. sweet. Yeah, that's, so. Yeah, we can that's, definitely tell it's a very loving vibe here. Yeah, it's very cool yeah. and like, that's why I, I literally, I never really like say everyone needs to try this at these restaurants yeah. because like they're good, but they're not like amazing. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I told everyone that they need to come here awesome. and try a burrito Thank bomba. You if you're it. in the North Hollywood area, do you guys want to tell them your, the address here? Yeah. So the address is 8024 Lancashire Boulevard. We take walk-ins, we take call-ins. Add burrito bomba on Instagram too. You could call us through there. There's or a or call on option on uh, Instagram on our Yelp. So anyway, you guys want to order, you could go through Yelp or Instagram. Just click the contact button on Instagram. Awesome. And all right, honestly, dude, that was probably one of the greatest videos I've ever had. Oh, it was so epic. That was insane. All right, guys, so that wraps up this five star. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know in the comments below what do you want next? Do you want some more one stars? Do you want some more five stars? Do you like guess the rating? Do you like create the rating? What exactly do you want? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate you. This is my new car, by the way. If you haven't seen the video of me getting my dream car, go check it out. The link will be down below. There's also gonna be a card on the screen right now. Make sure you join our Patreon, patreon.com slash Brennan Taylor. None of this would be possible if it wasn't for you guys. I love you guys, you're a winner, and I hope your day is amazing. I'll see you later, peace.
Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.